Yeah, yeah have you ever used the screen, screen time feature on an iPhone? Yeah, the one you get from uh, uploading to iOS 12. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to talk about it in today's vlog. Damn, go what for it then. Um, but yeah, but should we just go get a coffee real quick? Sounds good. Let's go. It is Sunday today, um, there are quite a lot of things I want to do today. First, I have to finish my homework, and um, in half an hour, I have a phone call with uh, with a college consultant. I don't know how long that will be, um, and I want to play soccer with my friends, uh, and I have SAT, some SAT practice to do. And um, there's a book, um, um, it's called Murder Roger Ackroyd, I, it's a really good book, unlike almost halfway through the book. I kind of want to finish it today, but it, I don't think it's quite realistic, so um, we'll see. Okay, I just uh, just finished up the interview or phone call with, with the consultant and went back quick. Um, I thought it was productive, so that's good. Um, now I want to talk about the screen time feature on, on iPhone. So for those who don't know, uh, when you upgrade your iPhone into iOS 10, I mean 12, um, there's a, this feature called screen time. So basically it records your mobile phone usage every day. I would say it's probably one of the best feature on iOS 12. So um, what you're seeing right now is my usage yesterday, which was Saturday. Um, obviously you see I you spent I spent four hours and nine minutes on my phone. This was screen recorded at eight o'clock last night. So it wasn't the entire day, but um, I mean, four hours is more than what I usually spend on on the phone. I had a cardio workout yesterday. I was on the elliptical and on the a spinning uh, on the bike for more than I say for almost two hours. While I was doing my cardio workout, I um I checked, I watched YouTube and I checked on my social media, which I think it's a good way. I mean, especially when you're not doing those intense workout. I like to check social media and catch up videos from my favorite YouTube subscribers. So that's probably one of the tips I'll give you guys. Uh, check your social media, watch YouTube, do whatever you want when you're doing those light cardio workout. First, it's healthy. You're doing some sort of workout. Meanwhile, you still you're still able to uh, get through your social media, um, see what your friends posted, and reply to your text. Yesterday, I spent more than 30 minutes on YouTube. Uh, the app called WeChat. This app is is from China. It's pretty much an app that has everything that. PayPal, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram. Um, it's an app that contains all features from the apps I just uh, I just mentioned. It's very very versatile. You can also shop on WeChat, which there's like a kind of like an Amazon or eBay thing on WeChat. So um, great app. I don't feel bad about spending like an hour or even two hours on it every day because uh, most stuffs on there are pretty productive. Uh, back onto the topic. Um, yesterday I had about five pickups every hour. To be honest, I don't use my cell phone that much, which that I'm glad. As you can see, uh, yesterday I spent an hour 17 minutes on social networking, one hour on reading and referencing. I was reading uh, on a Chinese news app and the and the um, Apple news app. Um, I don't read just news. There, there are good articles on them. So um, that was pretty much my usage yesterday. As you can see, I set a 30 minutes limit on YouTube, 20 minutes limit on Instagram, <coughs> um, 15 minutes on Snapchat. My last seven days, uh, screen time usage 10 hours on social networking wow that's more than expected um four hours on entertainment it's probably just youtube two hours on educate two hour 27 minutes on education as you see i spent six hours on on wechat on the past week youtube instagram safari snapchat quizlet huh quizlet and khan academy which is good it's something educational so um 
that I don't mind at all. Since I started to use the screen time feature when I upgraded into iOS 12, I was able to reduce my mobile phone usage. Honestly, I don't think I get distracted from cell phone that often. Um, first, I don't use cell phone that much. If I use it, it's because there are those indispensable communications that need to be done via cell phone. Yeah, overall, I think it's a great feature. If you never use it, you should go check it out. Um, again, sorry if you're an Android user. I don't know if there's any similar feature on Android phone. I would say probably there are because there are a lot of third party stuff on Android. Okay, so that was my thought, my opinion on, on, on it. I feel like I should share it with you guys. And now it's one o'clock. There's still, there are many things I want to fit into today. I want to play soccer. I want to read my, I want to read book and I have work to do. I don't know if this is a good thing, but um, when I plan out my week, or my weekend, uh, I, I put a lot of stuff into every day and most of the time I don't finish 100% of it. It is already seven o'clock tonight. Um, I did not film this afternoon because I wasn't feeling like it, but um, play soccer, hang out with my friends, had dinner with them. Uh, and overall, it's been a great weekend. Um, I'm kind of struggling in my math right now, but I'm sh I'm I'm sure that I'll figure it out in some way. Um, overall, it's been a great great weekend. My soccer season's ending in a week. Uh, I don't know if I should be excited, but uh, I'm very excited for the winter. <coughs> um, well, first I got a lot more free time in the winter than in the fall because soccer takes up a lot of time. Then. In the winter, I'm probably gonna do something that I've never done before. Uh, I'm 90% sure that I'll do it, but um, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you guys right now on the, in this video, but uh, I'll probably t talk about it in the next video. Whoa.